Hello guys and welcome to a new video! Today we just got Hachi! Finally he's here! We just got back from the trip. He was very good in the car, didn't get sick, very quiet, didn't say anything. And obviously he is exploring the house now. Explore the house, get comfortable. I have something there that you. <laughs> yeah, there's something. I think they're under. Yeah. He's so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> He's so tiny and so cute. You gonna take my dress now? Hachi! Hachi! That's very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> very interesting camera. You don't need the toy, you just gonna run. Come, Hachi! Woo! Ah. Take, 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 take! Go, go, go! Good boy! Hachi, come! Hachi! <laughs> Hachi! 
Archie, come. Come here. Come, boy. Come. 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 Give me, give me. Ah, now you want this one? Now you want this one? <laughs> so we are on our way in the car to uh, the hall. My sub will have the online training, goalkeeper training with uh, with three other goalkeepers, like one of the best goalkeepers in the world. So it's the the golden goalkeeper training. And uh, we took Hachi with us. He's in the bag. Hi. In the bag. Hello. Some more drink. He's drinking. Mm hmm. Because it's hot. You want some more, huh? Yeah? Oh, you had enough? He did? No. You oh? You want some more drink? He ate one. Hmm? He ate one. No. When you come back home, they'll give his food, yeah? Yeah, with the medication. Yeah, that's enough. And you want more? Huh? So oh, here we are in the hall, waiting. The training will soon start, so... Say good night, Gucci. Good night. So we are in bed. It is now two days that Hachi is here, and he's adapting very well. He feels very comfortable, and he's learning the things, and he starts to play more and more, and that's a good sign for his health, and that he feels comfortable and is happy with us. 
now it is bedtime, but someone feels different. No, no jumping. Just play here. Okay, that was... Ahem. Okay, Hachi. It's obviously a man. Ahem. That's not exactly what I meant. And this is actually the now the second time today that he does that. But yeah, it is a boy. And someday the sort of wet dream has to come. Hey guys, um, so a lot happened at this point. Um, we had an awful night because uh, Hachi became sick. He has a very low sugar level because his diet is very strict and when he doesn't eat in, in time or doesn't want to eat then it is uh, very fragile for him and his sugar levels goes down very fast even when he vomit one time so this morning he scared us a lot and we took him to the vet and now he got a glucose and medication infusion all day now we picked him up and he's feeling much better now huh? he started no, to feel much better now Yeah, you scared us a little bit, huh? Yeah. But he's all good now. Um, but tomorrow morning we need to come back and uh, we need to buy at the pharmacy some medication for him that we need to give. And yeah, if he doesn't want to eat at this point, we just need to yeah, baby feed him at this point. So, mm -hmm. but at least you're alive now. Thanks, yeah. Uh, you yeah, look a lot more like yourself again, huh? Yeah, it's better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You cannot go anywhere, sweetie. <laughs> it's boring, so mm -hmm. cute. Yeah. Good morning. Um, it is two days later now after uh, the horrible day at the vet. He's doing much better, a lot of energy, but we figured out that he does have a sort of eating disorder. He doesn't really want to eat. He likes the paste food, but not the dry food. Um, so we are figuring out how to um, make sure that he gets all his, his food. The paste is okay, the dry, we're gonna try now today to... Um, make the dry food soft in uh, weaken in the water and maybe when it's softer he likes to eat it more at this point you know he has uh, a um, he get medication for five days so we need to give him shots every five every morning we just gave him now and now he has a lot of energy so now we're gonna take him for his first walk outside so let's see how that goes i think he will be very very excited to do are you ready are you ready we can go here i put him here oh look here we go well someone is a little bit afraid i think huh eh? Wow, that's something new. Oh, are you sniffing? Hey, you only want to lay on the floor now? That's all? Hey, Hachi, come, come walk. I think he's afraid. Hmm? Hachi! 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 
Interesting. Pay attention, love. Hachi. Yeah. Yeah, scary. Such exploring, eh? Huh? What is all of that? <laughs> Everything, huh? Yeah, super weird. Super weird. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning. Um, we found out that uh, Hachi has a eating disorder. So we thought it was first sort of food poisoning uh, by a sort of mistake that we made and that it would be finished. But uh, the doctor said later that <clears throat> it obviously is a uh, eating disorder because he's ju he just refused to eat things. And, um, and that's weird. And because he's so tiny and so fragile, it's very, very dangerous for him. And like with other dogs, you can still, you, you have a little bit of leverage to get it in. He feel weak, but he can handle it. But because he's so tiny and small, it will kill, can kill him immediately. <clears throat> uh, so this morning, uh, in the night he woke up, he had a lot of energy, so we thought he was doing well. This morning when I gave him his food and his medication and vitamins and everything, uh, he ate eat the food, so I was still thinking he, that he was doing well, but after the second, but with the second meal now, he just refused everything, uh, to eat everything. It doesn't matter, the dry food, paste food, uh, dry food making wet, soaked in water. He just refused all his food, so we tried a different flavor, but it just doesn't work. So we decided now to bring him back to the breather, so she can study his behavior and figure out what to do. And uh, she will raise him until till he's around five months so I think for another five six weeks uh, she will raise him to figure out uh, what is going on and um, that uh, what because then around five months he's a little older he's a little more grown he's a little bigger and you know especially the stage between the, the first five months are very, very important and very fragile because he's so tiny. And yeah, sadly we have to make this decision. We don't want to do this because it's, um, yeah, he will feel abandoned by us. We will feel that we fail in him as parents but we don't have the experience and you cannot just if you don't have the experience try to figure out because or it will a mm -hmm. kill him or it will you know that he will survive but he will have forever have an eating disorder and we have all this life and he just live, will live for what three years instead of 10 or 13 years you know so we want the best for him and if that at this point is uh, take the distance from him, put him in good hands, uh, back to the breather that knows him from the, from the beginning, the day he was born and knows, uh, you know, is, is an expert in raising these kind of dogs, um, then so be it. Uh, we can, you know, be have an ego about it that we have to do it ourselves and this and that and blah 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 but in the end 
<clears throat> we all we want is what best is best for him and to have for him to have a long healthy life and if that is the case that we have to give him up for a few weeks then we are willing to do so yeah it's not about to uh, give up it's about um that is, uh, we didn't get, give up on him, it's just that he need a, a special care now, that's all. Yeah. Because if we keep going, we are trying now, but if you keep going, maybe he can die, how Nikita say? He have 800 grams and it's not, it's like a person, it's not like a person, you know, it's, uh, sometimes when you don't eat all day and then you feel like fainting, your blood pressure go down, but you can handle it because you're human and you have your weight uh, uh, body, body, but he don't. So and he needs glucose. It will kill him, yeah. Yeah, and then live like this with the glucose in the fridge. And uh, if he don't eat, need to give the glucose to him. It's uh, very hard, and uh, he cannot. Maybe he can die young. So I don't want this. You don't want this. So we decide to. In the end, we just him. want what's best for him. So we we w we don't want to take any risks. So we just need to wait one month, one month, one month and a half, and then we take him back and. Uh, that's all. She can figure out what kind of disorder he has, what is best, uh, figure out maybe a new diet that we uh, change the whole diet and then we know exactly what to do or to give him when he comes back to us. Yeah, so <clears throat> off we go back. Uh, it's another hour drive to bring him back. So it's a long trip, but let's do it. Ah, someone is now feeling good, huh? Playing wild! <laughs> but I'm not uh, upset, but now I'm okay. Because he's okay. I see he's okay. He's not bad. <laughs> Ow! What are you doing? Ow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you still want to give the shot of the glucose? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. But yeah, come on, the glucose shot uh, gives him a lot of energy. Yeah. 